I just bought the cheapest flying surfboard on the internet. And today I'm gonna show you how I got this e-foil for a fraction of what they normally cost, the condition it came in from Alibaba, setting it up, and most importantly, if the thing even worked. The premise of how this is supposed to work is there's an airplane wing underneath you, a big one that gives you lift, and one in the back for stabilization. And then an electric motor that propels you forward through the water. All of these boards have the battery pack and speed controller actually in the board in a waterproof compartment. And that's not exactly how the Alibaba one works, but we'll get into that. Remote that has a trigger for speed. And then these up and down buttons are for cruise control. This is the leash, that's a magnet. So when I fall off the board, it'll automatically stop the motor. I was introduced to e-foiling from a two second clip in a GoPro review I was watching on YouTube. Instantly got obsessed, looked it up, and got the bad news. It's a new sport, so good name brand boards with warranties and all that cost upwards of $13,000. And there's some that are even more expensive than that. So of course, I was looking for cheaper alternatives, couldn't find anything good. I headed over to Alibaba, which was scary. I've never bought anything from there before, let alone something expensive <laughs> and largely untested and unreviewed. But all the listings look like they're about for the same exact product. So I messaged every single listing. It took hours and then whoever got back to me first and seemed to have correct information. Those were the four companies I narrowed it down to, sent them messages, asked them how much it cost, asked if they would sell a sample because a lot of these sellers only want to sell in bulk. But eventually I found the guy, Andy Lee. It seems like half the listings on Alibaba end up going to Ali Lee and the actual board is called a high sun e-foil. That's the one that all of these cheap listings end up getting you, even if they look completely different than what's in the picture. I got a credit card that had a really good scam policy. If I did get scammed, made the purchase, spent a lot more money than I wanted to, but this was the only way that I could enter into the sport and really try it out. So I went for it. And eight, nine months later, <laughs> this big crate showed up on my porch. So much better than I thought. Look at this line. I am very happy with how this turned out. All right, there's our speed controller that must be. This must be our battery. So that's the total weight of the board then, if it's all already in there. It's all water sealed, greased. Once I started assembling the e-foil, things started getting a little sketchy. Like to get this bolt into this rail, I had to cut out a bunch of plastic and just epoxy from the poor craftsmanship. Also the bolts holding the mast to the board stick out about a quarter inch and the nuts are just open and exposed. And where the mast connects to the foil, there's about a quarter inch gap all the way around. So the hydrodynamics are not very good here. We're losing quite a bit of efficiency. I noticed that the speed controller compartment wasn't sealed like every other professional e-foil I'd seen. So water actually goes in that whole compartment to cool off the speed controller, which weight above water is not great. So that's one of the ways that they got this board cheaper. But at a third of the price of almost anything out there, I wasn't complaining as long as it worked. So I have a few things I need to unpack here. I could not record myself while doing this the first two times because it is just so sketchy. 
when you fall, you really just gotta jump the heck off and hope for the best so you don't get run over by the mast and the carbon fiber foil that are right underneath the board. <laughs> so this is my third time out. It's difficult to do, but it is the most fun. And I finally feel comfortable enough to maybe do a few minutes with the uh, selfie stick and the 360 camera to show you guys what it looks like. And you can kind of see my ghetto setup here. I don't have a board jacket, so I've got this kayaking life jacket with the camera strap strapped to the controller. So that's what we're working with. So much more like real surfing than wake surfing. I might be stranded out here. Before I go over the pros and cons after riding this e-foil for over a year, I just wanted to say that e-foiling has quickly and almost instantly become my favorite thing to do ever. More than snowboarding, skateboarding, one wheels, surons, dirt bikes, wake surfing, just my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I just bought this three mil hood so that I could ride in the snow. I love it so much. I'm gonna do a video pretty soon here where I actually snowboard and e-foil in the same day. There's just this peace and quiet, just flying over the water. I had this experience where I was just like flying all the way across the lake, an eagle was flying right next to me, just one of the coolest moments of my life. And e-foiling is just, going to be a huge, huge activity on lakes and oceans all over the world in a couple years. I guarantee it. But this e-foil in particular <laughs> is, it works and it got me into the sport and I don't regret it at all. And if it's all you can afford and you really wanna get into it, then it's kind of the only way. Unless you're willing and crafty enough to build one yourself, the main problem with this board is none of the parts are listed on what they are. I've tried contacting everyone. You can't get a wiring diagram. If anything goes wrong, you basically need to send them a message, buy an overpriced part, and wait four months to get a replacement. I lost my controller. I just left it on the dock. Totally my fault. I actually had one fail right in the beginning and they replaced it, but they took four months to get it to me. That's pretty much our whole season of when it's warm and nice to e-foil in the lake and that's just what you're looking at with one of these cheaper companies if i had like a lift or something like that i could just go buy one get it in a week be back in the water having fun that is the main con of this board everything else is pretty fixable especially if you're a little bit handy obviously it doesn't have as much power doesn't go as fast doesn't last as long 
I can get in the water for like full throttle, half an hour before I notice a significant power decrease. And then after that, I mean, maybe you get 45 minutes if you're going fast and the water's smooth, even worse than that if there's chop, headwind, but about half an hour to 45 minutes for maybe your first season or two on an e-foil is pretty solid. It's more of a workout than it looks like. You're constantly balancing, constantly using your twitch and reflex muscles. So I can't recommend e-foiling in general enough. And I would recommend getting the nicest board that you could buy if you want to get into it. But overall, this is an entry point. Mine still works. I did get my remote. I paid like $250 just for the remote. So obviously they're making a huge upsell on that, but it is what it is. It's an expensive sport at the moment. Hopefully it gets more popular and things get cheaper, but for now, that's what it is.